Welcome back to the F1 2017 career mode and you join me for Season 3, the Russian Grand Prix. This was a good one for us. Last time out in Season 2 where we got our uh, personal best result to date with uh, with second place. I do apologise if I sound a little bit nasally, a bit ugh in this video because I am a bit ugh myself. Just not, uh, not feeling too great. So, might be just a couple of breaks in the commentary just to sort of, you know, catch my breath, have a little drink because... I, uh, I feel like I've swallowed approximately four chainsaws. Here we go into qualifying. Now this is our second lap of the uh, of the session, and I felt good round Russia. I felt very good. Felt I could definitely be in the mix. Our first lap, we got us third position. Only had the Mercedes to contend with, so we come round two minutes remaining. We were just over a tenth up as we go through turn four that builds to over a tenth up as we cross the first sector split we are the fastest first sector and nearly three tenths up on the mercedes driver as that goes through coming up to the back straight we open up the drs we are on an eight tenth improvement on my personal best lap and that only increases as we go down the back straight as we cross the sector split we are half a second up on provisional pole at the moment slide it through we're over a second up on my personal best, this is absolute decimation of the Mercedes cars as we bring it round, slide it through the chicane here. And now, now 1.3 up on our best minutes ago in the session. We've got two 90 degree right handers to go tuck it in nice and tight. Clip the apex and run it out, get as much a curb as we can. Chuck it in the final corner on the power on the way out. 1.4 up on our personal best. It's a 34 flat and it's provisional P1. And of course, the everyone else went a little bit faster. But just not fast enough around Russia. We get pole by half a second. What a lap by me. And uh, Fernando down in sixth place. 1.5 seconds slower than my lap. Now, this sets us up to have an excellent Russian Grand Prix. We need to ride this, ride this wave, wave of momentum and build there. Because we haven't won a race yet this season. And uh, knowing the characteristics of the track, it's an easy one stop because, you know, you could bolt a set of ultra softs on and probably go 35 laps on this track. And uh, so we're going to run. Um, we're going to run quite heavy on the fuel. We're going to run the one stop because two stop is just a waste of time around here. Let's see what we can do. As we reform the grid, we have Vettel, Bottas, Ricardo. Hamilton looks to have had a grid penalty, so Alonso down in fifth. We are first. On the grid. And the tension builds. We're on pole position again. For the first time since Australia. We couldn't win that timeout. Can we win this timeout in Russia? As we build. Fire lights. Lights are out and away we go for the Season 3. Russian Grand Prix. Vettel's had a better start. We try and squeeze in momentarily on the left. But the AI can usually have a huge crash going through this kink. We're going to charge towards Turn 2. Vettel is on our outside. Oh, collision with Vettel. Apparently, we're going to use superior straight line speed to break. Just for the 100-meter board, Vettel is on the inside. We give him the room. He pushes us out wide. And he got a uh, compromised traction there on the exit. He pushed us out wide. But we retain the lead. Vettel down to second. Alonso. Up into third place during the uh, the chaos of the first couple of corners. Good to see Orlando, uh, Fernando climbing up the positions. I doubt he'll be able to keep it. And as such, by the end of lap two, beginning of lap three, he hasn't. So we do a 38.5. We're setting the pace at the moment. But let's see if that can continue. Our engine, uh, engine is starting to wear ever so slightly. So we need to be, uh, need to be wary of that as we set a 37.9 at the end of lap three. Uh, and we build the lead now to 2.8 seconds. So we were very much in control of the opening of this Grand Prix. You see me coming through in the lead with Bottas and the two Ferraris coming home third and fourth. We were very much in control of the race at the moment. Doing a uh, a Sebastian Vettel-esque drive to victory. As you see it here, just this first stint, we were nice and dominant. It was a very unfamiliar feeling. Uh, I'll be honest, but you know, after the pace we displayed in qualifying, it shouldn't have really come as a surprise to me. But of course, we don't know what the pace is like on the on the super soft. So anyway, lap nine, Hamilton has uh, blitzed the fastest lap. I think he's obviously down the back. He's pitted early to get out of traffic, and Bottas started closing in at this point. You can see here that my grip is going, and uh, Hamilton out the race now. So he put in the fastest lap and then he retired. He actually had an engine failure just at the end of his fast lap. So lap 10, 
we're gonna come in and we're gonna fit um we're gonna fit super soft tires and go to the end of the grand prix bottas goes on vettel goes on so does kimi raikkonen so the uh leaders feel like they can pull an overcut and i'll be honest if they'd been right on my tail i would have been concerned but honestly there was no concern with this one i had a two second advantage going into the pit stop didn't exactly get the release quite the way I wanted it, but not too much of a concern. Uh, the Russian pit lane is a little bit slow. It's going to cost us about 28 seconds in total, 28 flat exactly. We're going to feed back in, hopefully ahead of this train of cars, led by Carlo Sainz. Indeed we are, so we're going to fit in between the two Toro Rosso drivers. That's worked out quite nice and comfortable for us. And we just need to make sure we see the tyres to the end of the Grand Prix. And let's see how uh, how we coincide with the other guys as they come out the pits which i would imagine is going to be the start of the next lap you can see here we set the uh, purple middle sector on our out lap and we're right up behind danny Kvyat just here we're losing a little bit of time against him because the dirty air hampering me through the exit pushing me wide through the chicane just dragging the car a little bit wide fernando is in the pits so everyone pits at the end of lap 10 Kvyat thankfully peels in so not too much of a concern there on uh, on my regard. So we're going to come round. Everyone else appears to be poodling down the pit lane at 37 miles an hour. We're going to come out the final corner. Flat on the floor. Rich mix flowing. And that's going to be us up to fourth, third, second. Lovely. Kimi Raikkonen having to stay out for the additional lap for Ferrari. Because, of course, Vettel was the lead driver. Which means he got the call on pit strategy. But we're going to see here Raikkonen fitting the super soft tyres at the end of lap 12. Uh, we set the fastest half of the Grand Prix on 37.6. And, uh, yeah, that's us back into the lead. We're now 11.6 at Fernando and just, just controlling the race, really. Uh, lap 14 here. And we're going to get some information on Bottas. Apparently, he's got a problem. You can see a yellow flag behind us there. And uh, Vettel's up into second. Raikkonen up to third. What's gone on there? We jump on board with Valtteri. And all of a sudden, he just loses all speed. Goes down the gears and he's got a right... A right left, or oh, sorry, a right left, right rear <laughs> tyre failure, um, puncture. Unfortunate for Bottas because once again he was uh, nicely ahead of Hamilton. Come later on in the lap, we get the VSC. Come out, uh, I believe Bottas was poodling around the circuit. I'm not too sure where he is at the moment. We're going to come uh, to the end of the virtual safety car, at the end of lap 14. So now we're racing the Ferraris. To the end here. We lost a bit of time on that virtual safety car. Backed off far too much at the end of it here. But we're still controlling it. We've got about three seconds to Sebastian Vettel. So hopefully again to the flag. Shouldn't cause too many issues. Lap 15 we're coming around. We've got a yellow flag. It's wow. It's taken this long for Bottas to get this far around. It's always awful when you get a puncture like that. Thankfully Bottas pulls out of the way. It did cost me a few tenths though. Because that has completely ruined his race with the timing of that puncture. It happened like 30 seconds before he would have been absolutely fine. Come round here, 38.4. And the gap to Vettel now sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. It's down to 2.8, and then Raikkonen sets the fastest lap. So the Ferraris have upped the mixture a little bit, and they are now charging. We've got to be wary of them. They have got pace on this super soft tyre. We're coming up again in another caution, another yellow flag. It's Valtteri Bottas. He hasn't pit. He's still got the same tyre failure. What has happened... To the Mercedes boys here, as we get a replay of Bottas just poodling along. You see Vettel and Raikkonen all in the same straight there. So the Ferraris are closing in. Come lap 18, Bottas is still going round. There was this weird glitch with the AI. But now, Sebastian Vettel, my pace has dropped off. Vettel has come alive. And he's, uh, he's right on my gearbox, only one tenth behind me. So uh, I was dropping off. At this point in the Grand Prix. And I was really concerned that Vettel was, uh, was going to come past me. At any point. And if we were going to be vulnerable. It was going to be now. Heading down towards turn one. Vettel pulls to the inside line. Has he got the legs to be able to pull next to us. With that Ferrari power unit. He does on the brakes. We give him the space. But he's not quite able. To get us through turn one. And we had to hang him out to dry. And now the safety car. On lap 19. The safety car is out. You can see a car poodling along the pit straight. And I swear that's Valtteri Bottas. If that is Valtteri Bottas, once again, I looked back here. I was very concerned that both Ferraris were going to dive in for a set of ultra softs. And I was just keeping an eye on it to see if I needed to dive in. But no, safety car deployed. We're going to run to the end on this set of tyres. And what do you know? It's Valtteri Bottas on the same set of tyres. He's now three laps down. Come on, mate. 
Anyway, so with the safety car, we lead. Vettel is second. Raikkonen is third. Alonso, fourth for the McLaren team. <laughs> Red Bull, five, six. Force India, seven and eight. Safety car coming in at the end of lap 22. We're going to get five laps of full speed racing. And here we go. We're going to punch it out of the final corner. A rich fuel mixture we've been saving under the safety car. We now need to defend from an all-out Ferrari assault as we come to the end of the Russian Grand Prix. Vettel right up behind me. Is he going to be able to try and do anything? We move across. Is Vettel going to try to the inside line? No, he's thinking about it. But he can't even close up to us on the slipstream. Poor Sebastian just has not got the straight line speed to contend with us. And that's now us, hopefully, comfortably going to retain... Uh, Retain first place, but of course, with three laps remaining, DRS is enabled. That could be the difference maker between myself and Sebastian Vettel in regards to who wins this Grand Prix. We've got 1.5 laps of fuel spare in reserve, so we can go rich mix to the end. Vettel is trying to get past us. This is his best opportunity yet. He had the nose ahead going into turn one. We forced him out wide on traction. Raikkonen's had a fantastic exit. He's going to come past. Up into second place goes Kimi Raikkonen through the long left-hander. He's going to try and have a go at us around the outside of turn four. But Raikkonen bottles it and locks up. Through into turn three, Alonso up into the podium positions. And Raikkonen's made contact with one of the Red Bulls. So now, instead of me coming under pressure from both Ferraris, it's Vettel potentially being backed into Fernando. You can see here at the end of lap 26, beginning of lap 27, the NG UK, which is the unit on the uh, on the power, power unit uh, that gives the rich mixture. That has now gone to 50%. That means we're going to have less effective fuel mixture as we we're on the final lap. But Vettel couldn't challenge me into turn one. I did debate at this point about backing him into uh into fernando alonso but i didn't do it it's gonna be us coming around the final corner to claim our first win of the season and move right into the championship hunt absolutely awesome just amazing well done look at that they're making their way out onto the podium now great race from the mclaren team and i'm really happy to see them there on the top step of the podium So we win Season 3's Russian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel come home in second. And Fernando Alonso finally gets the race pace that he needs and brings it home in third for McLaren. A 1-3 for the McLaren team. And that's going to be important for us in the constructor standings. Raikkonen brings it home fourth. Ricardo in, uh, in fifth. Verstappen is sixth with Perez, Ocon, Massa and Sainz. Rounding out the uh, rounding out the top ten, we've got Palmer coming up from 18th to 11th, just on the fringe of the points. Disappointing for him, and then of course our non-finishers of Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas, ending up four laps down. A horrible weekend for the Mercedes team. Looking at the driver standings, that win, and with our competition, puts us 22 points into the lead of the driver standings. We've nearly got a whole race victory clear. Of, uh, of the guys behind us. And Fernando now has 17 in his total drops to, or jumps to ninth in the driver standings. And we're looking pretty, uh, pretty good. That result has put McLaren second in the constructor standings. Just four points behind Mercedes and tied with Scuderia Ferrari. So that now means we are now in the hunt on the constructors. And we now need to ride, uh, ride the wave of momentum. That is the second time this video I have screwed up, uh, screwed up that saying. Uh, and hopefully keep converting and putting in these good results. Because as we, as we saw before, once we get one win, it's not exactly against us to be able to get another one. So due to this weekend, we had enough resource points to be able to get another upgrade. And I had a little think on regards to what I want to be able to do. I've been putting a lot of focus on the chassis of the car recently. Uh, and we're going to do that. We're going to get another... Uh, I had a little look at tyre wear. I did debate at one point about doing a lot of heavy tyre wear bits. Um, but we're gonna get the um, we're gonna get the uh, weight reduction for the engine cover, and that is gonna put us with a similar sort of chassis level as the four senior, maybe just a little bit ahead. So we're closing in now on the top three in regards to sort of aero and uh, and chassis. Of course, our power unit is up there, 
the only reason on the metric that it doesn't sort of read as, as good as some engines is we've put all the power on it and we haven't done any of the, or we've done one of the fuel consumption. But guys, that has been the Russian Grand Prix for season three. Again, I just want to apologize if I sounded a bit off and just not really with it um, in this particular video. Um, due to sort of my schedule, I have to get um, a commentary done today. Um, ideally, I'd want to do two, but I'm go I'm going to be able to do another one uh, tomorrow. So I'm hoping tomorrow I'm feeling a little bit better and that want to come out uh, a little bit better. I, you know, I hate putting out subpar content, um, but honestly, I just, I just need to to get these, uh, get these done. And you know, I'm on a, I'm on a good, good streak, a bit of momentum. I'm motivated, and that's helping me obviously sit down and do these. But please leave a like if you did enjoy and comment any feedback down below. Remember to subscribe and enable them notifications to never miss an update that comes to the channel. And I shall see you all. next time.